guys, it's me again. I just wanted to do a video on what we are using for our homeschool, our curriculum, and um, our schedule, routines, and you know, just showing you what we do for homeschool. So I hope you enjoy this video, and I'm going to go ahead and get started. So we, I've been wanting to homeschool for quite a while now, and um, you know, I was kind of reluctant to do it because I was afraid that I wouldn't be any good at it, that I wouldn't be able to do it, that um, that it was going to be too hard, or that I was going to be, you know, robbing my child of an education, and I knew I would get a lot of criticism and judgment, and people might think you're crazy, you know, and it just, it isn't really, it's becoming more normalized, but it isn't what the typical family does. Um, so with that being said, you know, with everything going on in the world today, there are um, the whole bathroom situation, the gender neutral bathroom situation, as well as um, the satanic after school programs that are being introduced into the public school system. Um, as a Christian, I just, you know, would much rather teach my child myself as long as I can and am able to. Um, I have the option right now because I stay at home with my younger child. Um, I do makeup for special events, but most of those jobs are on the weekend. So I can. I do have the ability to homeschool right now, and I've I just feel like the Lord led me to start doing that and I actually filled out the declaration of intent to do it last year but when school time came around I wasn't prepared, I didn't have a curriculum, I hadn't done any real research on homeschooling and I just wasn't ready and you know I waited another year and I did my research and I picked a curriculum and I figured out everything that I needed to do to get started homeschooling and I we started this year, she's in third grade, she's eight years old and we picked the Life Pack curriculum and that's what I'm going to be reviewing today. So basically with the Life Pack curriculum we chose, um, I bought it off of Christian Book Books or ChristianBookstore.com and I'll leave that link below, I'll find that later. Um, but anyway, I think we paid around $290 for it, for the whole curriculum for third grade. And it just comes with, um, it comes with five teaching guides and they look like this. This is the one for math and the Bible um, curriculum set. And I mean, they're pretty big and it comes with like, um, tests and worksheets and answer guides. And this, I feel, is essential to, you can just buy the curriculum or you can buy the curriculum with the teaching guides. I haven't really used these yet, but um, I'm sure I will use them soon and I'm glad that I have them in case I don't know the answer or I want to make sure, you know, that I'm teaching it correctly. So this is a great thing to have <laughs> when doing homeschool. Another, um... The other thing about the set, this is how it comes, like, it comes with five subjects, I've only got four right here, but it comes with, um, alright, comes with these little life pack workbooks, and each book is about four weeks worth of homeschool, according to our schedule, and this one has like four chapters, five chapters in it, or five units. Um, and in this one, she learned, you know, it was just like a review of addition and subtraction, place values, numbers to 999, operations, order of operations, cardinal numbers, ordinal numbers, and then the application review, and then it has a test on each unit, and then it has a test at the end of the overall life pack. And each section comes with 10 of these life packs. So you get 10 
10 life pack workbooks in each set. So that would be like, you know, and then we have, we have math, science, history and geography, language arts, and um, it also comes with a Bible, which is your reading life pack essentially. So that is the curriculum we use. I really love it so far. It's easy to use and understand and there's a lot of, I mean, there's good information. I mean, you can see this is the book she's completed. You know, we start cursive. I don't know. I really like it so far. And then I also took it upon myself, you know, to get other books. Our Goodwill is such an amazing resource for homeschool, I feel like. You can get books there. The paperback books are 77 cents in the children's section, and then the hardback books are like a dollar fifty. So I mean, you can really get some great stuff. But um, you can add any extracurriculars, any other subjects you want. We um, we do art, we do music, um, we are learning other languages. Starting that soon. Um, we do extra reading and Bible study. We, you know, we do field trips. I mean, you can do anything you want as far as homeschooling. You can add any anything that your child is interested in doing. You can, you know, make time for that. So what I've done, I'm just going to go through the books that I got for her that we use on a day-to-day -day basis. We don't use every book every day, but... You know, we kind of, I pick and choose out of here what's going with what we're learning in the life pack at the time. So, I got this. I'm not a Baptist. I grew up in a Baptist church, but I, I'm a follower of Jesus. I don't, I don't have a denomination. But I did find this hymnal in an antique store. And what we do for music is we will just open up a page and sing, you know, two songs on the days that we do music. And we can go on YouTube and pull up kids' songs and any other music. Um, YouTube is an awesome learning tool for homeschool as well. And Pinterest, of course. You can go on Pinterest. I have Pinterest boards full of pins for, you know, homeschooling activities and science projects and printable worksheets. I mean, just thousands of free printable worksheets to go with whatever you're teaching your student at the time. So yeah, I really like this for our music, and then I have a few other music books in here. I'll get, that, get to those. Um, I found this book at Goodwill. It's um, The Way Things Work, and it starts with like the wedge and inclined planes and goes all the way through, let's see, like car brakes, oil rigs, airplanes, vacuum flies, heat waves. Photography, photo booths, radio signals, radio receivers, photocopier. I mean, it's just awesome. Ultrasound scanner, sonar, um, computer memory. And that's just flipping through. I mean, there's so much. It even goes to, like, computer coding. I mean, I just thought this was an awesome book for a $1.50. I mean, really? So we go through here and just pick and choose and read different things and you learn about the way machines work um let's see this next one i got it's dictionary of cultural literacy another one from goodwill dollar fifty oh i think all of these are from goodwill um american history i don't know there's just so much we haven't done a whole lot in this one we did start a few pages I think it's like idioms and proverbs and stuff like that, but it's full of just awesome stuff. I just, and this homeschooling has actually sparked my interest for learning more, you know. I went to school, and I love school, but then, you know, you're busy with your, you're more interested in your friends and what they're doing at the time rather than learning, at least that was the case for me. And I always loved reading, but now I actually have time and I can learn with my daughter, you know, there's, when we're in school, you know, we learn what we learn in school, but there's always more you can learn, and I'm finding that I'm learning with her, which is also great for me, I feel like, um, okay, this next book, this is Celebrate the Bible, another one I got at 
Goodwill. This is for ages 6 to 11. This is Shining Star Publications, a Christian education book by Wanda Pelfrey. Um, so this has got like songs, cooking, Ten Commandments, um, Spirit and Power of Elijah. It's just different little um, Bible related activities that you can learn. So that's pretty cool. We haven't started this one yet. I just recently found this one. So um, we have that. And there's no way we'll go through all of these books in a school year. I mean, we could try, but it would be a lot. But they're not just limited to this year. You know, we can use them next year. I mean, like it says, ages 6 to 11. So we can use this for a few years, you know, if we don't get through all of this, but my main goal is to get through our main life pack curriculum and any extra time that we have, or if we finish our curriculum early, I'll have all these books to go through and I can pick and choose what I would like her to learn at that time. So of course we have, um, like a math journal. I got all these little, um, workbooks for her to, you know, journal in during each subject if she wants to take notes or whatever and let's see we live in georgia and i found this at goodwill it is um georgia let's see spotlight on georgia performance standards so this is just like helping you on test taking in the subject of science so i thought sorry my camera stopped recording anyway okay so the next one, this is Math in the Garden. I found this at Goodwill as well, 77 cents for this little workbook. And it's just like, we have a garden. Um, we don't have a lot growing right now because it's fall, like everything is, you know, harvested. We picked our pumpkins, but once it, it's springtime again, God willing, the way the world's going, I don't know if we make it that far, but, um, Anyway, that's a whole other video. We can um, start this in the spring when we start our spring garden again. So it's just math in the garden, but um, let's see, recording plant growth and things like that, and logging, you know, garden journaling, growing numbers, um, vegetable garden equations, um, garden bulletin board, just different things like that. Alright, these are Kingfisher books. Some of these books I wouldn't say would go exactly with a Christian homeschool or private school curriculum. Like these, this one's like Earth and Space Science. Some of these books teach a little on evolution and different things that some Christians agree with. And as for me, I don't agree with teaching evolution. I, I think it's a good thing to teach our children about the theory of evolution, but they also need to know that creation is the truth and evolution is just a secular theory that has not been proven. Um, feel free to disagree with me. That's your prerogative. You can teach your children whatever you feel is right, but I'm going to teach my child what I feel is right and I believe in creation and that God created everything and that we didn't evolve from primordial soup or monkeys or apes or whatever. Um, so anyway, this is not bashing anyone, but that's my personal beliefs. So um, I pick and choose out of here what I believe to be true to teach her. I mean, there's lots of other great information in here that is truth, but we just kind of, we skip the evolution theory sections. So, um, also, we got a few, like, we got a big bulletin board, like a whiteboard, and then we got this one, which I haven't even opened yet, but she can use this eventually. We've only been doing it for two months now, I believe. Okay, this one I found at Goodwill. God made music for third grade, okay? And this just has, you know, learning the notes and how to read sheet music and different little song, fun songs for kids. So I thought that would be good for this. Um, this is another science book that I found for $1.50 at Goodwill just to 
This one is actually um, a Florida edition, but we live in Georgia. But it's just got a lot of um, fun facts about Florida. You know, I'm sure this was a public school book for the Florida curriculum. But we can just pull things out of here that I find interesting and want to teach about. And I also found these. This is um, Science for Christian Schools. And this is a really small little book, but it teaches um, science that is scriptural based, which I really like these. Um, let's see. Some more of these uh, Kingfisher books. Learning Adventure. This is the universe and our planets. And again, another, actually, I don't think this one's Kingfisher. This one is Time Life Student Library about the universe. And this is like all about space and things like that. Galaxies, astronomy, exploration, and planets. And anything to do with space, I suppose. Okay, this is a actual read, like a public school reading curriculum book that I found for Georgia. So we can, you know, the Life Pack curriculum is great. It does have a reading section, but it is all Bible reading. Um, that whole section of the reading portion of the curriculum is all reading from the Bible and learning about the Bible, and that's great, and we do a lot of that. So I figured it would be great to also include some other reading, like just, you know, different stories that are not, you know, just a Bible reading. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, um, so I got that. And then there's another science book. This one's a Georgia edition. And let's see. This is another one, um, the Georgia test prep for third grade. Because even though, even in homeschool, she will have to do um, some standardized testing. And it, in Georgia, it's every th three years, but we're going to test her every year just to make sure that she is on track. So, um, this one is a really great. I really like this book. This is Collins Children's Pictorial Atlas. Taking children on a dis on a journey of discovery. It's just full of maps showing the different things around the world. Like this one is the world interesting places. So they've got like Taj Mahal, Great Wall of China, Sphinx, Kremlin, Statue of Liberty, Kennedy Space Center, Mexican Pyramid, Seattle Space Needle, Statue of Jesus, Zulu House, Sydney Opera House. Um, Let's see, we'll just flip through. United States of America, it's got like Mount Rushmore, New York, um, Niagara Falls, Washington DC. It just has like a pic like pictures to show you different things around the world and where they're located and it's just a really fun thing to look at and a great learning tool. And here's like different flags, um, Southern Europe, it's got like wine, Paris, Eiffel Tower, Ukraine, castles, cathedrals, um, fortress, Parthenon, Greek church, um, just all kinds, of, it's just fun, lots of fun little maps to study. I really like that one. Then I have um, three more. Oh my goodness, I have like a leaf in here. So these are some more of the Kingfisher books. This one is on sea and all kinds of animals. This one is Peoples and Country and History. And this one is Animals, Plants, and the Human Body. So. And that's what they look like and they're just full of full of information and like I said we can just pull different things that go along with whatever we're learning in the curriculum at the time or if we're not learning it in the curriculum I can just pull whatever whenever um, I got this art projects book 
And it says, the word is a lamp unto my feet and light unto my path. And this is a Bika um, curriculum art series. But you can just um, see it's got all kinds of little cutouts and art projects to do. <clears throat> and you have this um, Roget's large, large print homeschool and office thesaurus. And these are just some reading workbooks. Let's see. This is a Common Core Georgia Performance Standards Test for grade four. I do have some curriculum for next year. We are not learning Common Core, okay? But I did feel like I should get this in case I ever decide to put her back in public school. I can kind of go over this with her because this is what they're teaching in the public schools here now. So I thought it was good to at least have this on hand in case she ever does have to go back to that and that she would need to, you know, learn anything as far as Common Core and like reteaching math. So anyway this is a craft book um crafts to celebrate god's creation so it's just another little you know art and craft kind of book so that is everything as far as like curriculum books and then i will take my camera in there to her room and show you our classroom which is in her bedroom and we've made her like a little bookshelf in her closet as her reading library because that is her homework each day she reads me like a chapter in a chapter book and then like a short story in a smaller book so we bought like a ton of books at goodwill like the 77 cent ones and just filled up her bookshelf so she can pick a different book each night for her homework and then of course you know i can print off anything online as far as printable worksheets and you know anything like that for homework as well so we don't really have a set, I would say, like, schedule. We kind of do, but we kind of just go with the flow of things. So what we do, Monday through Thursday, we do three and a half hours each day of curriculum. So she wakes up, she gets her breakfast, she does her chores, and um, then we'll start our homeschool. And we do, like three curriculum and like I'll show you the schedule when we go in her room I have it written down but like we'll do three books one day and then two curriculum books the next like the little life pack books and um, then we'll add in either art or music or whatever we're doing that day and then we'll go outside to play and have lunch and you know at night you know we'll read a chapter in the Bible we'll read a chapter in an actual chapter book that she started this week she was doing the Cabin That Faced West, I believe is what it's called. And then she'll read me like a short story out of her library in her closet. So that is all of our homeschool. <laughs> Sorry. I know it seems like a lot, which it really is. But like I said, there's no way we're going to go through all of these books this year. These extra books are just to supplement you know what I feel like the curriculum may be lacking if anything because I haven't been through the whole thing yet and it, I can add and take away and you know she has a full spectrum of stuff that she can be learning so I don't feel like she'll miss out on anything and some of these books can be used for years not just for third grade so that will be helpful if I decide to continue with the homeschooling which I feel like we will I feel like she's learning so much more and I'm more able to help her in the areas she's struggling in because I'm actually teaching her so I can I can see a little better exactly what she's struggling with and how rather than her bringing me home work from school that I don't know what's necessarily being taught or how and what she's not understanding about it so as she's learning it I can see exactly where she's all right guys i'm back i just wanted to show you our classroom which is actually my daughter's bedroom and then her closet which is where we have her library and her school supplies and things like that so i'm gonna go ahead and get into that 
So right here, you're looking at our United States map. And then right above that, we have a world map. And I got these at Marshall's. I believe they were like $13 a piece. But they're just like a huge sticker map. And you can use them as like a dry erase board as well if you want to, you know, point something out or write something on it about the area that you're looking at. And it also came with like dry erase markers. Okay, so my daughter's over here playing Minecraft. <laughs> Her favorite thing. So here, don't mind my handwriting. This is our weekly schedule, Monday through Thursday. Like on Mondays and Wednesdays, we do math, reading, and science, music, and art. Um, and then Tuesdays and Thursdays, we do language, arts, and history. And then we do computer and dance and on Fridays is our test day um like an overview of what we've learned that week and doing all of our tests and you know catching up on whatever we got behind on so I also got all of these posters at Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree is an incredible resource for homeschooling you can get so much stuff for cheap and these are actually 50 cent you get two for a dollar so this is like a manuscript of the alphabet and, you know, the numbers. And then I have this one. This is um, States of Matter. Some of them have fallen down. <laughs> I'll have to put those back up. Um, this one's just like months of the year. I have one. I think it fell behind her dollhouse. It's like days of the week. This one is parts of speech. Verbs. Adverbs. Punctuation. Yep and styles of writing and like I said a few of them have fallen down what's this one over here <laughs> like the days of the week one this one is literacy devices analogies sounds characters stuff like that um and this is just her room it's a mess right now but this is our classroom okay this is where I keep all of her you know curriculum and books this is a little thing where she can clip up her artwork. A little sign with her initial. This is the desk. My grandma got this for her for like $20 at a yard sale, I believe. And then she painted it pink and purple. And she put this alphabet and number stickers on there for her. Here's where we keep all of our Bible learning books by her bed, her Bible, and just different um, Bible help books. And we have like... We found this book, The Human Body. It's like a huge book at Goodwill. And we have this whiteboard. It's a mess right now. But. And then down here is where we keep all of her like journals and paper and things like that. And then she has like a little karaoke machine that we use for our music classes, which are a lot of fun. Okay, through here is her bathroom. Excuse her closet, it's a mess right now, but um, this is where we keep her little library is what we call it. So up here I have like all of the paperback kind of flimsy books. And these are like the more hardback books, small and then medium and then like chapter books. And then down here I've started collecting curriculum for fourth and fifth grade. And what's this? This is just like an easel pad for artwork. And then over here, excuse the mess again, this is her closet. She's eight years old, so, you know. So we've labeled these drawers. We've got like toys and then like paper and stickers, flashcards, coloring books, puzzles, art, which we have like paint, markers, glue, colored pencils, um, in here I've got like some Lincoln Logs and jewelry making stuff, stamp sets, just anything like to do with art. Um, so yeah, that is our homeschool. And this is just her bathroom and bedroom. This is where we do our homeschool. And we don't always do it in her room. We do it in any area of the house we feel like being in that day or even outside and we like I said we can do field trips to anywhere nearby that we want to go and we can just incorporate learning into every aspect of our day and um, 
like I said, I just felt led by the Lord to start doing this, and I have not regretted it so far. Um, oh, here, here's one that's falling down. This is scientific method. Scientific method. <laughs> but um, anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope it was helpful to you if you've been considering homeschooling. I know it was more of just an overview of our homeschool but your homeschool can be anything that you want it to be you can make it as personal or there's so many different ways that homeschool can be done now there's so much more resources than there's ever been especially with the internet and YouTube and there's tons of homeschool groups and just it's really if it's an option for you you're going to spend a lot more time with your kid and you're going to learn too and it's a lot of fun and I just felt like it was the right thing for my family right now and I'm grateful that I am able to do that and I'm so grateful for the opportunity and um, anyway thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this I'll be making more of our homeschooling journey as we continue um, you know, we really just started, so I love it so far, but you know, I'll be making more videos as we progress on how it goes and just different things that we do, and um, I just hope you all have a wonderful and blessed day. Please pray for me, and I'll be praying for you, and um, if you want, I'm going to leave some links below for homeschooling information. I'll probably link the curriculum site I used, and... Um, probably link my Pinterest board for homeschool worksheets and um, like experiments and activities and resources and in Georgia every state is different as far as their homeschooling laws but in Georgia the main um, like the the only criteria is you have to have a high school diploma or a GED you have to teach your own child you can't pay someone else to teach them unless you put them in private school you can use a free curriculum that is offered through the public school system but it is online and you have to go by their curriculum and it's basically public school at home. Or you can buy your own curriculum and do whatever you want to do and whatever you want to teach. Um, you have to start testing every three years beginning in the third grade and you have to have 180 school teaching days each grade level year and um, you have to you know withdraw your student from public school or private school if you're planning to homeschool and to do that you have to go on the Department of Education's website and fill out a declaration of intent to homeschool and that is literally all I've had to do and um, I gave you an overview of everything else and that is how we got started so feel free to comment below with any suggestions, um, your thoughts and opinions on homeschool, if it worked for you, um, <laughs> and um, if you have any prayer requests, you're always welcome to leave them under any of my videos. I'll be sure to pray for you. <laughs> and um, yeah, is there anything that you want to say about homeschool, Bradley? It's awesome. It's awesome. So she loves it so far. And yeah, and if you're worried about socializing, one thing that I found helpful is we make sure that she does something each week. Like on Tuesdays, our um, skating rink has Christian Skate Night. We go to that as often as we can. And we can make a video on skating night. Oh yeah, we could. Um, and... Oh hey, sweetheart. Sorry, guys. My my little one woke up from her nap. So, um, anyway, we're going to go ahead and finish up this video. But like I said, as far as socializing goes, my daughter has friends over. She goes to see her friends. We go skating. Um, there's lots of other ways. We go to the park. You know, we go to different places where there are other children. So... It's not like she doesn't have any social interaction Peppa at all. Pig. You got Peppa Pig? 
But anyway, I'll be um, making up some some more homeschooling follow-up videos. So please be on the lookout for those. And thanks again for watching. I love you all. God bless you all. Jesus loves you all. And I do too. Bye.